Today we're talking about an issue that was such a big deal that Mathel Radev felt like he needed to create a whole class action lawsuit against Seisus to get this taken care of. I think if you are a user that has a 2023 Strix G16 or 2024 Strix G16 made before June of 2024, then you either want to apply the fix, which is actually very simple, I'll go over that in this video, or number two, you need to contact Asus to get them to apply the repair before your laptop burns out. What's up and welcome to the episode of Gaze Most Live Tech. Me and Rocky today. Who's a good little kitty? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Affects mm. all of these Strix G16s from 2023 to about halfway through 2024. If we zoom in here, you can see this burnout occur. Now, when you flip the laptop upside down, the left fan screw area here, I believe it builds up a static electricity of some kind or some kind of contact occurs right here by the fan, and that eventually leads to a motherboard. Burning out any of these circuits on the motherboard will ultimately lead to the motherboard failing to boot, and you end up with a useless laptop. So here's another one, boom. Here's another one right here, boom. Uh, another one right here. That's five different threads of the same exact issue. Here's another one. Uh, and there are ways to fix this. Now, before you reach full burnout, the key is to cover it with a piece of anti-static tape so that any electrical discharge coming off of that screw mount from the fan does not go into the motherboard and cause an electrical short. Now, I also wanna mention I'm giving away a SCAR 17 2024 version with an RTX 4090 and the Ryzen 9 7945HX. This is one of the top Dragon Rage CPUs. It says a QHD 240 Hz display. It's an IPS display, beautiful RGB, beautiful build quality, and there's a bunch of different ways to enter. Link in the description. Now, you do need to be a US resident, and the winner does also need to offer a W9 and their address within 48 hours of being selected, or a new winner will be selected. Now, there's only a few more days left in this giveaway. It's actually really, really simple to fix. It only takes about five minutes. Here you can see the Strix G16 2023 and 2024 motherboard layout. So the bottom right screw of the top left fan is the issue here. And if you notice, this one has a little bit of a burn mark and they were able to fix this before uh, it became a complete motherboard failure. Just by applying a bit of Kapton tape over the area, it prevents the electrical discharge from occurring and further shorting the motherboard. Now, Asus themselves have started fixing this on any repaired units, but the big deal here is that Asus, to the best of my knowledge, has not done a recall on these laptop motherboards, and any laptops that are already completely burned out should be replaced free of charge. They determined that in June 2024, Asus officially started fixing this by applying their own anti-static tape over the motherboard right underneath the fan screw. Now, out of curiosity, I went ahead and grabbed the Strix G16 with the 9955HX3D behind me and opened it up to see if this issue still persists. But on my unit, Asus already applied the anti-static tape around the fan unit, so I don't think it's gonna be an issue. I'm guessing Asus already tested this to make sure that no static will be discharged into the motherboard anymore. But this issue is very important for anyone that has a 2023 or 2024 Strix G16, which was one of the most popular gaming laptops of 20. 23 and 2024. If you have a 2023 or up to June 2024, Asus Strix G16 to go in there and double check that there's a little bit of anti-static tape around that fan screw. So I'm making this video to apply some pressure to Asus to cover any out of warranty repairs. Like if your laptop is out of warranty now and it failed because of this issue, I think this is a design defect that Asus should have fixed and they should have issued an official recall so that they can apply this anti-static tape over this fan screw to prevent any further motherboard failures. Uh, and then number two, if you do have this fail on you, I don't think that you should pay for it. So, so if you do have one of these laptops that failed because of this motherboard short, I recommend emailing ASUS at executivecare at asus.com and getting and setting up a case number. I definitely don't think users should have to pay for this repair, even if the laptop is out of warranty, because this was a bad design choice from ASUS. And this comes down to, I think, can ASUS produce reliable products and stick by them? Now, this is not just some kind of like random thing failing on the laptop. This is a failure because of a specific design defect that ASUS should have seen ahead of time and prevented ahead of time. 
And I also think that this is a problem with ASUS's warranty and service department. If they're seeing some kind of major issue across an entire lineup of laptops that is a consistent problem and it's a fixable problem, they need to issue an official recall get people to send their laptops back to them, apply the piece of tape. Now I've asked ASUS for an official statement on this problem and I'm waiting for a reply. If I get a reply, I'll put that as a pinned comment down below. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon out. <laughs>